People think travel is expensive because they buy stuff like this. I'm budget travel expert Megan Kaiser, and I'm going to show you how to experience New Orleans like a local. The food, live music, art, drink, all for less than $7 a day. Let's do this. New Orleans is one of America's best budget travel destinations. I love that the Big Easy is the home of all things easy. A taste of the laid back way of life is what attracts millions of visitors every year. Speaking of taste, it's breakfast time in New Orleans and you can't come here without trying some beignets. Cafe Du Monde is probably the most well-known spot and it's not just for tourists. You'll find locals here too. I just ordered three beignets for $2.73. It's the cheapest thing on the menu, but it's still a huge chunk out of my budget. After this, I'm going to be at below $5 for the rest of the day. I think I should test out these donuts. It's so good. New Orleans wouldn't be the same without voodoo culture. So I'm going to check out a voodoo cultural center and take a free lesson. This is Voodoo Authentica. It is a shop and a temple. We are all practitioners and priests. I'm an Ongan of Haitian Voodoo. We have been here for over 20 years, and I'm here to answer questions and do readings for people. Lessons are free anytime you step into the shop, and offerings to voodoo deities are always welcome. Well, I love travel. Is there any spirit you'd recommend I petition for help in that world? Absolutely. There's a spirit right here called Elegua is the road opening spirit. So this is the spirit that lives at the crossroads. If you leave him three pennies, he will definitely work to open the roads for you and have that spontaneity and that momentum. Three pennies? I think I can handle that. All right, I'm starving. I'm looking for some fried chicken. Where should I go? Some fried chicken, go to Hank's. You get the best bang for your buck. Ooh, okay. The New Orleans food scene is so epic. Even the gas stations and corner stores have amazing food. And yes, fried chicken. Some of the best comes from Hank's. I'm already at under $5, so the price of this chicken fits my budget perfectly. Don't judge a book by its cover. Hank's has some of the best in town. You can get one piece for 75 cents, y'all. I can't wait to eat this. That chicken was delicious, but now I need something to wash it down with. Dollar Zachary's, y'all. We're here at Cafe Masperos. They do this deal all day, every day. No open container laws in New Orleans, so I can take to the streets with these savings. With more than half our money gone, I need to get extra creative to find some budget-friendly fun. And now I can tap dance. Some of the best travel experiences are just about the people you meet along the way. I actually teach the dance on the street, the second line dance. The mini lesson I give is right here, feel good. Knee up, out, out, arm in, and then swivel three times and kick. One, sashay, one, hey, two, hey, three, and then a kick. One okay. more time, one. There's so much color and life everywhere you look, just walking around the city. Or running. It's no surprise then that New Orleans is home to one of the world's top art spaces known for its murals. This area that y'all are in right now, um, it's actually called the Bywater, the areas of the city that was most hit by Katrina. And so it is a pretty special place. It's called Light in this piece, but it's all about strength and resilience. Studio B is a huge warehouse turned gallery full of vibrant art. The small entrance fee is a bit outside my budget, but the mural out front alone is worth the trip. A fun and inexpensive way to taste the local libations is to take a brewery tour. The best part? Free beer. Hurricane Katrina shut down the last of the city's breweries, so the NOLA Brewing Company stepped in to make sure good beer was still being brewed within the city limits. My title is Director of Funk. <laughs> there are a lot of antiquated laws, and that's kind of where our free tour came from. So we used to not be able to sell beer on premise at all, so we would open up the doors and let people come in, and they could have all the free beer they oh. wanted. Uh, the laws have since switched, but we still wanted to be able to give back to, to our fans, so we still kept that one hour where we give free beer away. Free beers, free music, $7 a day in New Orleans is easy. 
There's really no other choice when you're in New Orleans. You gotta get your hands on some Gulf oysters. The good news for me, they're a quarter. It's really fresh, try off the boat, and uh, wouldn't have it any other way. There's several 50 cent oyster spots in the city, but Clessie's is one of the few still serving them up for 25 cents each during their oyster happy hour. Thank you. The best way to see the city is on foot, but don't miss a ride on the historic St. Charles streetcar through the Garden District. The route dates back to 1835. It's the oldest continuously operated streetcar line in the world. Sit back and enjoy the scenery of southern mansions and huge live oaks. I'm down to two cents, but I can't leave this city without seeing what New Orleans is known worldwide for, jazz. Tourists go to Bourbon Street, locals go to Frenchman, so that's where we are, obviously. But the best part is free music nearly every night of the week. So, how do we do? Beignets, voodoo, fried chicken, dance lessons, oysters, daiquiris, breweries, streetcar, jazz, all for a total of $6.98. New Orleans is a budget traveler's dream. I can't believe how much we just did for $7. It's proof that you don't need a big budget to have an amazing time. So, let's get back here soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, and leave a comment. Where should I go next?